Good morning to you. A band of rain is set to move across the country today. Before it is pretty cloudy, but yet again it is mild. This is the cloudy scene greeting us this morning, but here's the rain for Western Scotland. And <laughs> horrendous yet again but you know what they say the show must go on This week I find myself on familiar grounds and some might suggest familiar weather conditions and for the first time in the series the weather is a potential threat to our ability to film. Howling winds and driving rain are challenging enough to play golf but to play golf and film it well that's a whole different story and I'm absolutely gutted as this golf course is an absolute belter. So this is Silithon Solway Golf Club, situated in Cumbria on the border between England and Scotland. Davy Grant first laid this course in 1892, and since that day names such as Mackenzie, Park, Varden and Braid have contributed to its evolution, which can only be described as a classic lynx. Right, what you've seen so far is, I don't know if you know what hole we're on, three or four holes of just absolute brutal conditions. That flag isn't doing anywhere near because we're hunkered down a little bit here. It is absolutely horrendous and I just don't know how, if we can actually get this one finished. Slow down a bit. Whoa. These greens are still lively, you know, it's such a good quality track this and I just hope we do it justice today. We're also gonna have a bit of a chat because YouTube sometimes looks like, you know, you're living the dream and don't get me wrong, it's fantastic. But the way we started out with the weather, I did question that a little bit. But also for my personal game and uh, a few other things, I'm gonna make some changes this year. And uh, I think they're similar changes to what you might make in terms of your golf and your life. So we'll have a little bit of a chat and hopefully we've started to see a few blue skies. I am hugely grateful to our new series sponsor, PXG. This long-term partnership and their support will help us take our off the beaten track series to another level. And we have some big adventures planned in the months ahead. Thank you, PXG. Right, I always like your involvement in these videos, so this is the first uh, question for you. Bit of a mid-round snack, and I've got to admit, for me, it's always a Lucozade is generally in the bag. I need a bit of a sugar rush. But then, chocolate bar of choice is always a star bar as well. So let me know what is your mid-round snack of choice. And I'm not even mid-round, to be honest with you. But we've just took an absolute battering. We have got some blue skies, as I said, so uh, a bit of a breather, and then we'll go again. And after several stops, our persistence paid off. The sun came out, the rain stopped, 
but I'm afraid the wind kept howling. That wasn't a bad bunker shot first of all, but uh, before I finish doing that, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start to have lessons, would you believe? And that's going to help me in two ways, because I also want to play a lot more social golf, th golf this year. Like I said, everything's been work, so it's all been filming for YouTube, but I want to play more with friends and that includes Lewis Johnson. So the benefit of that is, you've seen him on the channel again recently, is the benefit is I'm going to uh, yeah, bend his ear a little bit and try and eradicate these. Uh, I've been watching videos back and a lot of my swing deficiencies are slowly creeping back in and I'm gonna see if he, can, uh, if he can help me out a bit. So that's one of the things, well, perhaps two of the things I'm gonna change this year. Ninth hole is a signature hole and we're playing right into the sun which is a nice complaint to have but you can't see a great deal and we're also playing right into the wind as well so when I turn that way my audio gets hammered and hence the reason I'm just sheltered a little bit. It's a gorgeous golf hole from where we're playing I think it's about 140 but I reckon it's into about two maybe three clubs and I'm just trying to keep something as low as I can at that flag and somewhere on that green because this is Sellers version of the postage stamp and uh, you can see why when we get down there. And yet so far, the sun's in my eyes, can you believe it, after the start we had? It's time to vote for Photo of the Week and they really do show a change in contrast in weather. And I've got a feeling this one could go to Tracy yet again. So I kind of want to do two things. I want to play. I want to play social golf, but I also want to play some competitive golf because, although I always advocate that you know you've got to enjoy this game first and foremost, so a scorecard can often ruin that. I sort of want to get the competitive juices flowing just a little bit and uh, test my game. So if I can get a few lessons going, I'm going to start entering a few medal comps on a Saturday morning, and uh, we'll see where that leads us. Silith is one of those courses where you will, especially on a day today, you're going to find, you're going to use every club in the bag and you're going to have to try and make a whole lot of different shots you're not used to making. It's just got a release. Yeah, that's not bad. Again, there's a howling wind coming from off the back of the camera woman. It's just so difficult right now. Um, Again, another sort of point to mention was I'm going to try and visit, and one of the things that this has allowed me to do this series is visit as many courses as I possibly can. And it's been great because playing the same course week in, week out, it's nice to be a sort of member, and that membership thing's good, but I also think it's good to test your game in, uh, in different venues, different courses, and different types of courses as well, because you learn so much from doing that and uh, it's just a whole different experience and I've got to say since we started this it's got me out every week to somewhere different and obviously something that I hope I can continue to do. 
Well, we've got one down towards the mark. Most Proudwood is the golf hole itself. It's the 11th, and it's everything I love about Lynx Golf. We've got gorse and we've got heather, and uh, we've got this fairway that sort of rises and falls and sweeps its way around. And somewhere at the end of all that, there is a green, and uh, hopefully we'll find that very shortly. But, oh, my God, the light has gone terrific now. It's, uh, if the wind would die, I know you can't ever tell behind the camera, but seriously, it's been uh, it's been hard graft, and this is the first one we got a bit of down breeze, a bit of help. So yeah. This week we've been staying in Glen Capel, which is on the other side of the Solway Firth. This place is perfect for groups of golfers looking to discover golf either side of the Solway. As you can see, the interior is delightful, as is the view from almost every room. You can find more details on this property at kalevrock.com. I think I said that right. Even the flags are hard to get them stuck back into their uh, hole. I think for me as well, that the, the big thing for all this to happen, it's about kind of organizing my life. And again, everybody has such hectic schedule, schedules now, and uh, I'm not claiming to be any different than anybody else. But if I'm gonna, the one thing that the announcement helped with um, in terms of this year round sponsorship is just we're able to just plan a little bit a little bit more security and therefore I can plan uh, a bit of a social life around that and start enjoying the golf game a bit more and not just uh, sweating over how we make this whole thing work. Oh, do you know what, what an absolute day we've had here, the sun is so nice, I know I keep going on but the back of me is literally soaking wet because I didn't put a waterproof on and didn't expect what was coming so I'm wet through i'll probably get pneumonia but i've had such a good day we're only on the 12th i don't know whether they're going to get them all in but 191 yards down into that green there oh my word what another golf hole that is a bit confidence here i've got a camera zoomed in on the on the green Hold your line a bit. Get round that bunker. It has as well. <laughs> well, do you know what? I think that that is pin eye. I'm looking over there because uh, the camera that's on the green will tell us very, very shortly. But I managed to do, it just leaked out a tad. It ran over on, on top of the bunker and came back in to pin eye. Little bit of luck there, eh? Right, so we're going to make this the final hole. It's the 16th. The sun has well and truly fell too low, and uh, we're going to have to call this one quits. I think all I can say is, still it's been amazing. You'll probably notice there's no drone in this video, which I'm absolutely gutted about, but it's just been so windy, it's not worth the kind of risk of losing it, uh, the drone that is, so I'm a bit disappointed. I'm not sure that we've done it justice today, we'll find out when we look back at the footage, but I can tell you it's a top quality track at Silleth, and if you ever get a chance then you should uh, get yourself on over here. Right, 16, another stunning, Par three, Let's see if we can get one somewhere close. Nah, just a bit weak, I think, and is it? Yeah, it is. Well, that was a wrong club. We'll finish it there. And uh, what I need to do now is get back in, get back into our little digs there and run that hot bath, thaw out, and hopefully I've not got pneumonia.